Ordinary Voice of Spiritual Ventriloquism. You are listening to Dummy himself, Brother Rich here. Um, I don't have the videos up anymore, but a few years ago I did some videos uh, uh, on uh, the pole shift and uh, basically a, a Mondar Moran, uh, <laughs> Mondarin minimum solar cycle coming on. Uh, it's probably time to talk about this again because uh, I don't want to. I don't want to say run around like Henny Penny. The sky is falling. Prop a lie. Uh, do all these things. But the things that I've noticed, being a person who plants crops and observes nature uh, and things like that, I can tell that we are now f at least two full years into a decline in overall global temperatures. The bottom hasn't dropped out yet. Uh, that's probably going to be six or seven years from now but the decline is on we are probably entering in a global solar minimum cycle that will probably last through about 2050 or so the last one was uh, 1610 to uh, about 1760 around the time of the civil war uh, then there was a we started climbing into our current uh, probably a hundred year uh, overall global warming cycle, though global warming and cooling cycles every 11 years, uh, about every 400 years or so, the bottom drops out and crash, and we have what's called a mini ice age. Now, that doesn't mean there's going to be glaciers moving down into Illinois, but what it does mean is that uh, growing seasons are going to be shorter. They already are. I noticed this year that Canada was not able to get their canola out of the field. It was iced and snowed over. It snowed in Yemen last week. <laughs> this is November. China and Russia are recording uh, temperatures that they don't normally see for a month or two uh, as far as like, uh, you know, cold, record cold temperatures. Uh, the overall uh, sea temperature has dropped about two tenths, two tenths of a degree. That may not seem like a lot, but that's huge in the terms of uh, oceans. Uh, an average temperature of four to five degrees would be uh, overall across around the whole earth uh, would be devastating to say the least. To give you an example, last time we had a global minimum, a grand solar minimum in the 1600s, 1700s, uh, Prussia lost half of its population in two years. Now, I don't know if you understand that. These are people that were growing their own food. Uh, now we live in a world where probably 50% or more of the people are highly dependent, if not completely dependent, on somebody else growing the food and it making it to the warehouse called Kroger, Walmart, and whatnot, and then they're going to go there. We also have six or seven times the amount of people uh, that we had back then. Uh, it took about 6,000 years to put a billion people on the face of this earth at the same time. We've multiplied that by a factor of six over the last hundred years. This is scary because when I look in Bible prophecy and I'm reading what's written, especially in the book of Hazun, uh, concerning the signs and the sun, the moon and the stars, the fact that there is not going to be any work for man nor beast, uh, and the cost of food just escalating, the inflation in food just going off the chain, tells me that we are definitely uh, entering into a very severe uh, solar minimum because all of those events uh, that are described about uh, a day's wages just to eat for one person uh, is, you know, that, that pretty much is a global cooling cycle. Uh, if there's no work for man nor beast, uh, beast especially are used in, in farm farming, you know, things like that. Uh, now, not so much anymore, you know, we use tractors and stuff, but who knows? Uh, anyway, uh, we definitely have uh, a, another indication of a cooling cycle. Another, another thing. You know, we may want to look again at what it doesn't mean that the sun shall not shine for a third part of the moon for the third part of it. Might want to take a look at that again. Does that mean it's going to be darker eight hours more a day? I don't think so. But what I do think is, is that is trying to uh, explain is, is that the output of energy that the sun and obviously the reflection 
of the moon and whatnot uh, is going to uh, be depleted by about 30%, or at least that's going to be the total effect here down here is that we're going to be getting a third less of the benefit of solar energy. Now, that 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 right there is very concerning. I ain't saying that that's the, the interpretation one should make. Uh, I could be off on that. Uh, but, you know, it certainly does make sense to me the way things are shaping up. Uh, Pastor Dow, many times this video tells us people to get, you know, the Israelites to get out of the city. Uh, the feds are now wanting to ban wood stoves, so they want us to freeze to death while we're starving. Uh, but anyway, uh, we need to heed that advice. And not only do we need to heed that advice, but if you are out of the city, you need to seriously consider getting a greenhouse uh, so that you can extend your growing seasons. You might also, if you do already have greenhouses like we do here at Straightway, we might want to consider obtaining more uh, square footage. Uh, just for the purpose of uh, winter growing, extending the growing season, because what happens in a solar minimum is you have colder, wetter weather. You have more molds, you have more funguses, you have more viruses that populate during these types of situations, uh, and that has a devastating effect on crops. So we're going to not only have to, you know, maybe add some greenhouses or something, but we're also going to have to start adjusting our growing methods. We need to start thinking and being creative. Well, you know, uh, one thing, you know, uh, my father told me you can't grow corn in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan today. So I know that's probably pretty much out uh, down the stretch for quite some time. But, you know, have, has anybody ever thought about starting corn in the greenhouse and planting it like tobacco? That was an idea that came to my mind. Seems like it, a lot of labor, a lot of intensity, but... You know, obviously, you know, uh, if you're, you know, you have livestock, you have chickens, you have things like that, you're going to need to grow crops or adjust your feeding regimens or something so you can grow crops to feed your animals. Uh, we all have a lot of work to do uh, and not too long to get there because we're already two full years into greatly reduced CME activity coming out of the sun. Uh, and we have very little or no sunspots at all right now. They're not even any sunspots. And what CMEs were occurring earlier in the summer were going the opposite direction. They weren't heading toward the Earth. They were going out into space somewhere or whatever. But anyway, uh, you know, uh, you know, it's something that we might, you know, you, you really need to take a long look at. You know, are you really prepared? How prepared are you? Are you, you know, I don't know. You can't store up. You know, Joseph stored up seven years of grain, but... You know, can we do that today in this human environment? Uh, or are we going to have to start becoming wise and start adjusting our growing methods so that, you know, we can feed ourselves and our families because the world is not going to be there for you. Anyway, uh, I suggest very strongly to subscribe to a YouTube channel called Adapt 2030. This man brings out a lot of data. Uh, he brings out excellent data and uh, all the observations that he's made in his videos, uh, I have observed myself uh, just being tuned in more to nature, uh, not living in the city. Uh, I've seen definite changes and drop-offs. Boston last winter broke 350-year snow records. Uh, and according to him, we were looking at possibly a factor of eight by 2024 we're looking at winters here in Tennessee and other places eight times worse than what we experienced last year in 2015, in 2016. So anyway, uh, that's something to think about. Uh, uh, that's a good channel to look at. Uh, the Bible says that there's wisdom in a multitude of counselors. Uh, and, and in multitude of counselors, one can find a relative amount of safety. Uh, so anyway... Uh, have a good day. Shalom.